Hello and welcome back my Cumber Patch Kids. How you doing today? It's Chris and we are ready to show you guys something so dirty, so ridiculous that you won't even know what to think. Oh, here it is. It's the tadpoles. Here they are in all their mighty glory. Right now I've got a lot of stuff going on by the way guys. I've got my, my fish just had babies. I've got the tadpoles. I got the hamster. I've got my two tanks over there. So I'm, I'm, I've kind of got a lot going on right now. But, uh, ooh, look at this dance right here. Look at this beautiful display of wonderfulness. <laughs> there they go. They're just, they're just latched onto that thing, man. That's, that's cool. They're just floating around on it. Oh, man, the catpoles are so cute. I love them. I love them. So if you guys are curious, these are indeed toad poles, not, not tadpoles. They're going to turn into toads eventually. I've got about, I don't even know, if I had to guess, I'd say probably just a little bit over 100 of them or so. Um, you know, if you guys don't know, I've, done, I've been doing this for about, oh, look at this one, man. Oh, my God, can you guys see it? There he is, tumbling. Just latched on the little, the little edge, the little edge of that lettuce right there. <laughs> just going to crash into it. Boom! Just crashes in the other tadpoles. They don't care, man. They don't care. There they go. I love it. I love them. So you guys can just watch the meat for a little bit while I uh, talk about what the heck happened today and why we've got these tadpoles. So I've done this for the past, like, I don't know, four, four or five years. I did, the only year that I didn't do it was last year. And uh, last year I struggled to find some tadpoles. That was the reason why. And I was kind of upset by that because, you know what, I was catching and I was releasing tadpoles for so many years now. I was like, oh, man, I'm just going to catch them every single year. Well, because I moved, I never went over to the tadpole location. I never found any, and I was like, all right, screw it. We're just going to skip it this year. But this year, I decided to go back to the old tadpole location, see if I was going to be able to find any, and boom, shazoom, here they are, baby. So, ooh, we even got some eaten off the filter um, pad over here. A little filter pad right there. That's pretty cool, man. What, they, what are they even attached to? They're, like, eating each other almost. <laughs> oh, my God. Um... So, uh, they are the cutest little thing, by the way, if you guys can't tell. These are, uh, little tadpoles, little topoles, swimming around, all juicy-like and everything. Um, so I went back to the old stomping grounds. I decided to go check out to see if I could find any tadpoles, and I did find some, but not as many as usual. I gotta say, when I go there, there's usually, like, I don't know, man, I, I'd guess a hundred thousand or something like that. Like, this year, probably, like, close to a thousand, maybe two thousand or something like that. And, you know, nothing insane. It's obviously very hard to count them while they're moving and doing all that stuff. But I took about a hundred this year. Um, I'm going to raise them up. I'm going to release them back into the wild at the end of it. And I hope that we can uh, uh, have our little baby toad poles eventually turn into um, little baby toads pretty gosh darn soon up in here. Uh, I, if I had to guess, I would say they're probably about a week to two weeks old. They're pretty reasonably big. Um, a few of them, I think, are starting to grow their back legs, but they're, like, so small at this point. Honestly, without a freaking microscope, I really couldn't tell. Uh, it could just be them pooping. I, I don't know. Poop and legs kind of look the same. When they're come, they kind of come out of the same area over there, man. But, yeah, I should be uh, documenting the the full approximately six to eight weeks of this uh, tadpole hunt right here. Um, this is week one, I guess I'm going to call it. I think. I'm just going to call it week one here. They've probably been around for about a week, so that makes pretty much perfect sense. All right. Um, I guess just really quick, if you guys are interested in this kind of thing, like, what the heck do they eat? How do you take care of them? Like, what should you do with these guys? Well, uh, number one is, you know, you might notice there's no gravel. There's nothing in the tank. There's just, it's literally just an empty tank right now. Is that the correct thing to do? Kind of. Um, what I did was I already had a cycled tank, so I had a fully cycled tank with my filter here. It's been running for a, a couple weeks now, actually, on top of the fact that I took bacteria and or stuff, water, from these two tanks right here. Now, I've heard a lot of people saying that, you know what, you can't take bacteria in just by taking the water. i got to disagree with you there, man. You're going to get some bacteria with it, just not going to be as much. And what I did was I kind of swirled up, and I took some of the dirtier water from near the uh, the gravel, actually. So it wasn't completely clean water, which, you know, a lot of people want the clean water. I took, like, some some reasonably dirty water out of there. Oh, there's a hamster in the background. There you go, man. Look at that. It's like it's like the hamster swimming in the water, man. That's how cool it is. But, uh, yeah, I took some of these guys out, so it should be fully cycled at this point. I don't think I'm going to need to worry about a, an ammonia spike or anything like that. Um, I will need to change the water a little bit more often, probably about once a week, if not even more than that. There's, you know... You know, tadpoles are pretty good at dealing with, with a lot of random factors. You know, they get down to freezing temperatures almost at night. They, you know, pop back up. They have to deal with little tiny baby puddles where they can't even freaking breathe. So, like, I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to raise these guys up pretty pretty easily without them dying. 
Uh, as far as food goes, uh, you know, I've actually got two types of food here. Uh, I highly recommend two different types of food, not just one type of food here at Tadpole. Um, you know, normally they just eat algae in the wild, all right? That's, that's pretty much their entire diet right there is algae, but they sometimes eat their fallen brethren and other protein sources as well. They'll eat just about anything, to be honest. They even sometimes, if you put your hand in the water, they'll eat your dead skin cells, which is kind of cool. It's kind of like a, a relaxing little... I don't know. They pay, they pay people to do that. They put little fish in the, the foot the foot pond thing, and then you like eat all your dead skin off. So that's kind of what they do, man. Maybe I'll show you guys a video of that later, but they still need some protein. So what I do is I feed them my tadpole frog food. This is their protein right here. It's micro pellets. They eat it pretty fast, so I'm not worried about it doing anything too crazy in here. And then also lettuce. But you have to do something with lettuce. you got to boil it first. So what I did was I boiled, I boiled some lettuce. I made some, uh, I froze some like little tiny balls up in here, about that size, a little bit bigger than that, because obviously you can see there's some lettuce over here and stuff like that. But about that size, and then uh, whenever I need to feed them, usually once a day or whenever the lettuce is gone, I feed them again. Just be careful. Don't let, uh, don't let the lettuce or the food sit there for too long. If it does, it'll rot and turn gross, and that's not fun for tadpoles or for you to watch it rot and be gross. So. Um, that's what you can feed them. Those are the main two things to feed them. Uh, as far as the tank goes, man, I don't know. I mean, I put them in a 10-gallon because that's just my standard go-to tank. I got 10s and 20s, and, you know, I got some smaller things and stuff like that that I could keep them in. But I like making sure that I've got some sort of water uh, motion for them. So I like using a filter. Just be careful because they are so tiny. You need to make sure that you've got some sort of filter barrier here. So I've got a little, like, sponge filter thing on this thing. And you can see, like, the lettuce and kind of gross stuff is getting sucked up by this thing. But at the very least, it stops the tadpoles from getting sucked up in the filter, which can happen. And this is, like, a micro filter, too. This is meant for, like, 2.5-gallon uh, tanks. So I can see if you got, like, a regular filter, like, for, like, a 10-gallon or a 20-gallon or anything more than that, man, it's going to slurp them up, kill them, too. Because when it goes through the filter, it goes through, like, uh, basically, it's inside that thing, you just have a thing that spins really freaking fast, like a propeller. And that's what sucks the water up, right? Um... It sucks the water up through the propeller, and then when the tadpoles get sucked up through the propeller, bloop, they can get cut in half and stuff, which isn't fun. So, yeah, try and stay away from that, if at all possible, and uh, you might notice, because this has, uh, I have had uh, uh, the thing fall off once, and I got like one or two tadpoles like sucked up in there, and it was not fun. It's not, no, let's just pretend that never happened. So anyways, um, these are the tadpoles, guys. Uh, if you want to see them grow up and grow their legs and turn into little toads and eventually feed on... Um, live insects, well, this is the place for you. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys can uh, watch me and my funness pretty soon. Oh, wait, you know what? Should I just show you guys my tanks while I'm at it? Why the heck not? All right, we're here. Let's let's do it, just because. I'm a pretty big tank guy. Am I too zoomed in? Am I zoomed in too far, man? I'm terrible at this thing. <laughs> All right, I think, I think I'm good. All right, um, so these are the baby fishes. I've got actually two different types of baby fishes in here. I am calling them fishes. These are some like baby rainbow fish right there. There's one. It's kind of hard to see. There's, uh, I think, the second baby rainbow fish right there. And then I've got on the ground here, I've got some uh, baby platies. So a little tough to see, but those are baby platies. Uh, literally, they hatched out yesterday. Well, not hatched out. They actually li got live birth yesterday. Where the rainbow fish are actually a couple days old, but they came from eggs. Which is kind of goofy, because usually, when you have a tank like this, uh, which is, by the way, I'm not liking this tank right now. It's pretty freaking bad. I probably shouldn't even show you guys it. But I'm going to show you a failure anyways. This is my failure tank. Don't really want to talk about it too much. But I've got a couple rainbow fish in there, I've got a couple snails in there, I've got a couple uh, corys in there, and oh, you can see even one of my dead snails. That just happened. Yeah, that's a dead snail right there. I think he died of old age, hopefully, but he's only about a year old, so I don't know how long they live. <laughs> Alright, uh, anyways, moving on. Um, this is kind of like my fail tank. Uh, I tried using soil instead of using... I tried using soil instead of using um, like aquatic soil, and that just didn't work out at all. So uh, it, basically, the the problem is I didn't have like a the quarries freaking cause all the problems, man. They go swimming through the water and they knock up all the ground, and then the freaking dirt gets sucked up, and that's what causes all this random dirt kind of all over the place on my plants here, which is why the plants don't look green at all. Uh, and then the algae, I just didn't care about this tank anymore. I got to take it down in about two months, anyways. So it's it's healthy. You know, there's nothing wrong with the water in there. It just doesn't look good. So that's the difference here. I'm not killing any of my fish or giving up on them or anything like that. But uh, 
Yeah, it's just dirty as crap, and it doesn't look good, okay? But the fish are having babies, so, I mean, they're laying eggs and stuff in there, and you know what, to be honest, like, if they can find areas to put little, um, to put their little egg pouches in where they're not going to get eaten by snails or quarries or something else, that's wonderful. That's what this thing was designed to be, actually, just like a little cotton ribbon thing, but I don't think they lay them on there. I think they just hide them throughout the rest of the, the thing. But there's, like, a rainbow fish right there. There he is. And then here's my other tank, which is full of a lot of platies, some uh, zebra fish, just a couple zebra fish that are, they've been there for multiple years now, and, uh, you know, I, I actually had, like, a disease go through my tank or something like that. Um, I actually had fungus growing on the light up there, and it killed a lot of my fish. So I, uh, I, I decided not to buy more zebra fish, even though they like to live in schools. They seem pretty happy, you know, swimming around with uh, the other platies and everything, so... I don't mind it, but I've got a bunch of platies. They love me, by the way. They they love following my finger and stuff like that, or at least they try. And they always try to get my attention in the morning, man. Every whenever I come down here, they're like they swim up the top here. They're like, "Feed me, Chris. Feed me. Come give me as much food as possible, please." They love the food, man. They're 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 so cool, and they they actually like me too. They, that's the fun thing. Like, watch this. If I open up this thing, watch watch how fast they're gonna swim up to the top here. And I just fed them too. They're just ridiculous about the food, man. They love it. But they're ready to go. They're like, come on, Chris, give me that food. All right, fine, we'll feed you guys again. We'll feed you again, you silly little fishes here. There we go. Have some food. Have some food. And then I also have a beta in here, actually. Um, he's a little bit of a goofy. He's a little bit of a goofy guy. Uh, there he is. Oh, there's Kevin. Kevin's my beta fish. And... Uh, I can't believe how nice he is as a fish. He may eat some of the babies up in here, but he honestly doesn't try to eat them that much. They're, uh, it's kind of getting becoming a festival in here, actually. Oh, man, what the heck is he doing? He's laying on the ground there. I've never seen him do that before. Hopefully he's okay. <laughs> he's just a little lazy, I guess. What a goofy beta. What a goofy beta Kevin is. But uh, he's pretty happy overall. I've had him for, like, two and a half years now, so he's getting pretty old. He's getting pretty up there, too. Uh, but here's my fish, guys. Here's my tank. It's getting a little overcrowded. I'm actually uh, planning on getting a 40-gallon eventually. Um, got it over here. Planning on getting a 40-gallon and kind of moving up to that bad boy pretty soon. I bought it off of a very nice gentleman off of uh, Facebook Marketplace, actually, believe it or not. Got that guy with the light and everything. Oh, man, I'm excited, man. I'm excited for all my tank, all my tank action up in here. So to finish it off, here's the tadpoles. They're eating like crazy. They're happy. They're wonderful, and hopefully you guys want to watch some of more, some more of my cool, awesome videos up in here. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.